Hey, what's good everyone? I haven't done a video in quite a while, five or six weeks or so. Uh, there are a couple of reasons why I haven't done a video or why I haven't really picked up anything. And if I did, I sent it all back. But this is not the right place and time for this. Maybe in a separate video. This is something that I picked up most recently, this week actually, and it's going to stay. As you can see, it is a made in England New Balance. It is the 991 GBT, and we're gonna jump into the details right after the break. So here it is, the New Balance 991 GBT. And yes, I know this is not a collab. This is nothing special really, if you wanna look at it that way. But to me, it is something special because A, it's a New Balance, B, it's a made in England, handmade pair, and they have great quality on the materials and the colorway is just really, really nice. I was looking for a 991 for some time. I already do own a pair. That's the Flimby Anniversary one. You can check out the video right here, but that is in a size 12. And a size 12 is not my true size. My true size is a 12 and a half, and it always fit a little short. And at the end of the day, if you're wearing it the whole day, you're happy when you're able to take it off. So not the perfect size for me. So um, I wanted to get another pair and I bought the Aries Arise pair, which is a very nice pair, very nice mesh on it, perfect for the summertime. But the problem was that the right shoe was a little bit longer than the left shoe and my right foot is a little bit shorter and thinner than my left foot. So it did not really fit, it was just way too big. And, uh, but I was thinking since I bought a 1500 OGN some time ago and a size 13 as well, and it fits pretty well, maybe a tad long, the 991 should fit as well because it was confirmed by a couple of people that I know that they actually fit the same. So was wanted to get one. The Aries Arise unfortunately had two different matching pairs and I had been eyeing this one for some time. This one was released in February 2020, so for the spring season, but uh, I never really paid that much close attention to it. I had seen it in store sitting, but not, but not really looked at it in detail. And I bought it at a store since they had a discount going on. And when I opened up the box, I was immediately in love with this one. It just popped. I was like, wow, colors were popping. Colors are really great in person on the shoe. Maybe you cannot really see it on camera, but in person, this thing really, really pops. So let's dive real quick into the materials. We have a very nice short head suede here at the mudguard. And we have a little longer nap suede here at the mid panel, this little darker area here and underneath in a very, 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 very nice teal. I really love this color. And then we have some more navy suede here at the back. You can see the 991 logo on the 3M patch already. And on top of that, another 3M patch. And the last 3M patch is right here underneath the lacing section. We're gonna stay at the lacing section. You can see the mesh tongue underneath and then extending into a white leather part here on top with a navy stitching, New Balance 991, which I really, really like. And it really goes well together with, with the white laces here. The shoe comes with a different set of laces in gray, but I actually do prefer the white ones that already come in the shoe. We have a gray mesh here at the toe box and at the size and at the color, as you can see. It is sort of kind of like a ballistic mesh, uh, not as soft as you can find on some other New Balances, but still very nice to the touch and of high quality. I really like this. And furthermore, we have a white fabric in a liner here inside the shoe and behind the tongue with a UK flag here. And the insole is your standard gray New Balance insole. Also standard gray, the outsole, and we have a silver 3M New Balance logo at either side with a white underlay underneath. I think this is a very, very nice pair, and I'm glad having been able to add this to the collection. The thing is, it does fit surprisingly well in the 13 as well. My left foot is a little bit between the 12 and a half and the 13 so it is just a tiny bit longer as well but as the shoe is very narrow 
it fits me pretty, pretty good. I do not have any problem with the length. If I'm sizing up, most of the time it's the circumference of the shoe where I'm having problems with. And since this is a pretty narrow shoe, this fits pretty, pretty well. An orthopedic would probably say this is the perfect size for me. So uh, this might not be my last 9 and one Maybe it's even going to be my most favorite made in England New Balance. I do like the 1500, but the 991's midsole is just so much better, so much more comfortable. Really like this. I like the looks of it. Maybe also due to the fact that I'm trying to complete my 99X series and there's a couple of other New Balance models that I really, really like. The 993, the 992, and the 990. And of course, this does remind me of them quite a bit. I mean, the design on them is always very similar, just slight variations. And uh, I do enjoy the look of it very, very much. I'm glad that I was able to add these. Not my last 991. I'm going to throw them on feet. So stay tuned for the on detection coming up. And I'm going to leave you with the on feet. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I'm going to see you in the next video. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.